Hey guys, this is Brennan with Sonic Electronics and uh, today I'm going to show you a little quick how-to on digital multimeters. How to use them, what settings you should be using, what settings you should not be using, and uh, a little tutorial on how to check voltage. So today we got an ideal multimeter. Uh, as you can see, I have a couple other ones here on the actual desk to show you guys the uh, differences and selections that we do have for checking voltage. Uh, to start off though, we have a couple different selections. On the multimeter, typically you'll see VAC or VDC. VAC is voltage, obviously, but it's alternating current. And alternating current, you're gonna find in a house, like a 220, for example, or checking the voltage of your microwave. Now, in car audio, what we wanna use is direct current, which is 12 volt to 14 volt. So on our multimeter, we're gonna see VDC, 600, 200, 20. The selection that we're actually gonna be using, and I know I'm skipping over quite a few there, is VDC 20. So we have up to 20 volts that we could check with this volt, uh, voltage meter on direct current. And on the multimeter, you'll see two test probes. We have negative and positive. Now let me, guys, uh, let me tell you guys, it doesn't matter if we reverse these. And a quick little show you how it works. So if I were to take, check voltage of this battery, for example, I should be getting 12 volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach my test probe to ground, my positive test probe, to the positive side of the battery and I see 12.7 volts. But if I were to reverse it, ground, test pin to the positive of the battery, positive test pin to the ground of the battery, we'll see a negative 12.7 volts. This won't hurt the meter, it won't hurt the device that you're checking voltage on. All it is letting you know is, hey, we got the test probes reversed, which means this wire is actually positive, this wire is actually ground. So quick little easy right there. Now we have a second meter here, which is it's actually a fluke meter. I don't like it as much as my ideal meter, to be honest with you. I like ones with a bunch of different settings, but this one's very basic, very, very basic. Here we see V with a little wavy line. That means alternating current because it's going up and down. And then we have V with a straight line, which is basically direct current. So same thing with this fluke meter. I can actually test voltage and see I'm getting 12.62 volts. And if I reversed, I would get the same reading as I did on the ideal meter, showing me a negative with the voltage that is being supplied to the test leads. So today was a basic how-to on what settings you need to utilize for your digital multimeter. Now, in the future, guys, we're actually going to be doing several more videos on how to check the amplifier output for RMS, how to measure that with a digital multimeter, uh, how to check voltage at your amplifier, as well as continuity to check basically grounded speaker leads, uh, and impedance to show you guys how to wire woofers and check the final impedance with a multimeter. And on that, you guys have a great day. This is Brennan with Sonic Electronics.